Hi everyone, my name is Ben. I'm the chair of the Graduate Committee for Students. I'm here to give you a quick virtual tour around the department so that you've got a rough idea of where everything is. We're going to start in the Hume Rothery building, which is the main materials building in town. So we start our tour in the Hume Rothery Lecture Theatre. This is where most of the first year lectures take place, but also where the colloquia are held for graduate students. As you come out of the Hume Rothery Lecture Theatre, you get to the main entrance foyer for the Hume Rothery building. Here is the, the front office for the department, and it's where the educational support team are based. Here's Kay, a member of that team. Uh, she and the other members of that team will be able to help you with any queries that you have. So as you come out from the front office and go down this corridor, you get to stores. That's where we'll find Ian, and he'll be able to talk you through more of that. Hi, I'm Ian, and I'm the storesman here at the department. I run the goods received, so any goods you order from exterior suppliers, I will take delivery of and notify you on delivery. And I also run a stores, so we have lots of general stuff like PPE, general lab supplies and stationery. So I should be your first port of call for any supplies you need for your office and lab. Immediately above the stores is the library. Here's Grace, the librarian, who's going to tell you some more. Hello, I'm Grace and I'm the librarian here in the Department of Materials. The library is divided into three main sections. So here is the journal room, um, on the other side is the book room and the foyer area where you will find the self issue machine. This is one of the most important areas in the library because if you remove anything from the library you must check it out on the self issue machine. On the second floor of the Hume Rothery building, you'll find most of the admin offices, including the Director of Graduate Studies, the Head of Department, as well as the rest of the members of the Education Support Team, who support both postgraduate and undergraduate students. So as you come out from the library, you'll come onto the first floor for all of the other buildings. On the right-hand side over here is the University Parks, and if you go down the road back in towards town, you'll get to the rest of the science area, which is where you'll find the Rex Richards building, So outside the front office you'll find the University Parks and just down the road is 1213 Parks Road which is another materials building and further down towards the town is the main science area and Rex Richards building is there. On the left outside the front office is the Begbrook mini bus stop. So on the left here is the Engineering Tom building, next is 21 Banbury Road building just across the road and here is the Holder building which uh, we're going to go into and on the first floor is the cafe and Robin's going to talk to you about that more. Hey guys, uh, I'm Robin, I'm a fourth year default and this is the Holder Cafe. This is where most people can just come here and relax. Um, a lot of research groups have their meetings weekly here and it's also where a lot of the networking events for the department happen. And there's also the weekly JCCG coffee meetups here and you can also get help from the EM Suite staff um, here weekly as well. So yeah, when the cafe opens you'll be able to purchase food and drinks here, um, but there are other cafes around the city if you um, need something else. So upper floor in the Holder building is the undergraduate teaching labs. In here you'll find Diana, who we'll introduce you to now. Hi everyone, I'm Diana. I'm the teaching lab technician and I'm always up in the lab here. You're welcome to come use any of the facilities or machinery up here. And just bring along your own consumables and the labs are available for you to use during term time only in the mornings, out of term time, any time of day uh, within working hours and you will also have the opportunity to be a teaching assistant here so I hope that you'll be coming to help out with some of the undergrad practicals. There's also an Ian suite in the bottom of the Holder building. Here's Ian who's going to tell you some more. Hi, welcome to the David Kane Centre for Electrical Microscopy. It's a multi-user electrical microscopy suite featuring a range of TEMs, SEMs and focus arm beams. Supported by five support staff dedicated to this facility alone and in total it's about £10 million worth of equipment for use by postgraduate students. So behind the cafe in the Holder building is the Engineering Technology building. There's another lecture room in here 
and some more labs on the ground floor. And the most important room in this building for materials students is the materials IT office. Here's Paul who's going to tell you some more. Welcome to the IT support area. My name is Paul Warren. I'm the senior IT manager of the department's materials. As you can see behind me, we're overflowing with computers, printers, monitors, and anything else. You will all be expected to visit this office at some point in your time here, probably sooner rather than later. And we were, we have an open house help desk which provides instant IT support. So we'll help get you phones connected to the network, etc., laptops, computers, and so on. There are three staff members, but Chris Akinola on my right uh, as front of house, and Rob Saunders on my left as uh, infrastructure and desktops laptops. Uh, we are friendly and generally very helpful, I believe. This is a good place to know where to find us uh, in the engineering technology building on the ground floor. Any queries, please email itsupport.materials.ac.uk. So uh, this is the engineering Tom building. The reception here is where you need to go for getting swipe access on any of your cards for any other engineering buildings. At the very top is the engineering workshop and Les is going to talk to you about that now. Good morning, my name is Les Chorley. I'm the Building and Facilities Manager for the Department of Materials. I look after all the machine shop training which is carried out in the Tom building on the fourth floor. Within the machine shops we have lathes, bridge ports, CNC's and behind me we have devices and everything for doing general hands-on tool and works. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Emma and I'm a second year DPhil student here at Begbrook Science Park. The Science Park is about 20 minutes away and you can get here by using the minibus service uh, for which the bus stop is just behind me to the right. The bus actually stops just outside the main reception here at Begbrook Science Park which you can see behind me to my left. Next to that is the Goods Inward services where you can pick up a range of equipment that you've ordered in town and you can also order basic pieces of equipment here such as lab coats. Finally, uh, to my right again, we have a canteen here that serves a range of hot and cold meals but most students do tend to bring their own food so that they can enjoy it outside in lovely grounds here at Begbrook. Hi, I'm now standing outside the main building for the materials department, the Hirsch building. The building hosts a wide range of groups and equipment from 3D printers to SEMs. If you want access, you need to make sure you pick up a fob, otherwise you won't be able to get it. I am now inside Patrick Grant's lab here at Bedford Science Park. His group specialises in advanced manufacturing and novel materials. To my left, you can see a novel 3D printer capable of multi-material 3D printing. And just behind that, to my left, we also have a specialist materials extruder. Just behind me to my right, we also have a spray coating machine, which you can see is housed in a number of pupas that we have for sample preparation, used most commonly by those in the sub room for batteries production. I'm Nicola, and I'm a member of the Oxford Material Characterisation Service, or OMCS, based here in the Hirsch Building at Boatbrook. We have a wide variety of equipment to help you with your research needs and we also offer a service for industry. If you have a small number of samples you can ask one of our experts to analyse your samples for you and help you with data interpretation. However if you think you're going to be using a certain piece of equipment a lot during your research when possible we can offer training for you to use these instruments yourself and our services and instrument booking is possible through the iLabs system. So here we're in one of our labs. This is the sample prep lab used for mounting and grinding and polishing samples. We have a wide range of 
polishing and grinding machines. And we ask you to provide your own grinding papers and polishing cloths, but the equipment is available for your use. Hi, my name is Gideon. We're in the High Bay lab. I'm a technician here at Begbrook. And these are some of our milling machines, but we also have water jet cutter, several lathes, welding equipment, shot blasting equipment, pillar drills. Um, basically, we can make anything that you might need for experiments, jigs, tooling, and help set up machines. Hi, my name's Robin. I'm one of the technicians in the Department of Materials. This is the advanced processing lab. Uh, we have some quite advanced machinery here. This is our plasma spray machine. This runs at about 1200 amps and can melt and spray uh, almost any material. At the moment we're using it to melt and coat uh, products for nuclear reactors using tungsten. Uh, the other half of the lab is mainly used for battery experimentation. And we also have some advanced spraying equipment because the next generation of batteries are largely going to be spray construction. I have quite a lot of experience in making jigs and tooling, so if you have any requirements for modifying equipment or even making your own equipment, we can usually help.